Hey, what's happening, folks? Tax Bar Not One here, and we got new fantasy items in packs, and I decided to go ahead and open up these all pro pack bundles, and it's kind of funny because last week, like, this, they do such a good job of controlling the market. If they were to drop these things last week, I want to say probably at least half the Madden community would be running around with a Josh Gordon or running around with a bunch of coins, but since they decided to drop it this week, everybody's going to be running around with this, uh, what is this guy's name, Junior Gillette? This 95 right outside linebacker with 96 finesse move, 82 power move. Everybody's going to be getting him because he's going to be super cheap. Like, my guess, if you guys want that car, if you guys are Saints fans, you're going to like good defensive ends that are fast and that have good finesse move, my guess is probably going to be down to 20,000 coins in no time. But it's really, it's really, really funny. It's really funny because why didn't they do this last week? They had opportunity last week. I would have bought, bought a bundle last week. But this week, guaranteeing a, a week 14 fantasy collectible, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. Not really worth it. Like I no, not worth it at all. And doing the math in my head, if I buy seven all pro packs, if I could, like if there was no limit, I buy seven of these and I buy a bundle. I will only save 64 Microsoft points. It's not that big of a saving. So let's go ahead and open up three of these things that are procrastinating. Let's see if I can get lucky. Originally, I was gonna open up a bundle and just hold on to the cards until I hold on to the bundle until like this Friday, but when the outsiders drop. But <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy this right here and just hope I get lucky. And my phone's just so daggone loud. We got Sean Witherspoon. I actually need that guy's card. Roberto Garza. Oh, he's not in the Bears collection, I don't believe. Kyle Long, another Bear. Can I get? No, Alshon Jefferson didn't pack some more. Damn it. Justin Blackman, 86 overall wide receiver. And Chip Kelly. Hey, Geno Atkins. Okay. Okay. All right. I got me an elite card. All right. 97 power move, 70 finesse move, 73 speed. That is amazing. That's about 50k right there. Okay, my actions are full. Send that to your trade block right now. All right, so okay, maybe I go ahead and might be some good packs. It might be some good value out of these packs. Hopefully, my reserves aren't going to fill up. Chip Kelly playbook. I wish I had to send these cards to my buddy who just got the game, so he can go ahead and actually get the collection done. But he doesn't have enough cards to give me back, so it's just going to be me sending him stuff and stuff he can't afford. So it's not really worth it right now. But it'd be kind of cool if you give a friend stuff for free. All right, we got some more stuff here. I'm gonna come right back. So we're on pack number two. I'm taking bets right now. Do you guys think I'm going to pull a fantasy card? Leave a comment below because my guess is out of three packs, I'm not going to pull a fantasy item at all. So if you guys guess yes on it, I guess just give yourself a pat in the back for pride. If you guess no, pride as well because I have a feeling that I'm not going to pull a fantasy card. I, don't know, I need Robert Sims though. That's about 4,000 coins. Try to find value everywhere in these packs. Desmond True Fonts go back the other way. Darren McFadden, so three, two packs in. No fantasy items so far, which is pretty much what it's got to come down to. Why are those fantasy cards? I, I, I swear, the fantasy cards are just as hard for me to pull as limited edition items. When I get a fantasy card, it's just like a rare sighting. That's why I was kind of upset the one day when I pulled... Well, you guys probably didn't see the video, but I pulled, like, I want to say 100,000 coin worth of packs on three times the Elite. And I pulled freaking, like, four Pierre Garcons back to back to back to back. Like, why am I all these cards now? But I can't get them earlier in the year, so... Fantasy items are so hard for me to pull, and hopefully I get lucky pull one of the next one. But that one was pretty pretty average right there. Only thing good about that pack was the Rob Sims, but going for our 4,000 coins. Our final pack, maybe this pack will convince me to buy an all-pro pack bundle. You never know. You never know. Vincent Brown. Can I get that Jarvis Jenkins white pants? Darnell Ellerby. Okay, Tyson Jackson. So if you guys guess I pulled a fantasy. Look at that. I pulled a fantasy. And yeah, that's the last one right there. All right, so Terrence Cody is about 1,000 coins there. So I got a fantasy Tyson Jackson. Nothing too impressive. And if you guys are wondering, this guy actually plays defensive tackle. So don't let that left-end spot fool you. You guys will probably hear about that when I do my review series later on today. But this is a pretty nice defensive tackle. Good speed, good power move, pretty nice block shit. But it's not the best. And his price is probably around 2,000 coins now. So I'm going to sell him right now while his price is high. And then I'll come back maybe more than likely and buy another, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, leave a comment below, at, uh, leave a comment below saying if you want me to buy an all pro pack bundle, because these packs are available for 24 hours, and I should have this video up to you guys by tomorrow around like 12, so I can probably get home in time to open up another pack before 6, so if you guys want to see an all pro bundle, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll gladly oblige the viewers, but I am the Texas boy, I got one good card, Gino Atkins, thank you buddy, I am out of the mother bleeper, peace.